Well, I'm R. Facts Mars, and that New York City uh, theater troupe are refusing to back down after they lost uh, Dollar Airlines and Bank of America for sponsors. And after the public has been saying, hey, this is going way over the line. It's about that play where they depict the assassination of Donald Trump, uh, Julius Caesar style with knives. Public theater is refusing back down after backlash over its production of Julius Caesar that portrays a Donald Trump like dictator in a business suit with a long tie gets knifed to death on stage. Delta Airlines and Bank of America have pulled their sponsorship on public's version of the play. But in a statement Monday the theater said it stands behind its production. It noted the staging has provoked heated discussion, but such discussion is exactly the goal of a civically engaged theater. This discourse is the basis of a healthy democracy. Translation is a healthy democracy wants to assassinate its president every time they don't uh, agree with the ruling elite. Other defenders included Scott M. Stringer, the New York City Comptroller, who wrote letters to the heads of Delta and Bank of America, arguing that dropping their support sends the wrong message. No, it sends the right message. I support them on this. He writes, Art matters, First Amendment matters, Expression matters, and clothes copies of the play and the letters. Hope you enjoy it. It's a classic in any age he wrote. Oh boy. Flacco liberal. Uh, Mr. Stringer, sir, uh, I sent an email to the, uh, the theater and told them that if it were up to me, they would have search warrants served on them to see if they actually intend to have the president assassinated. I mean, for real. This modern-day Caesar's violent death at the hands of conspirators comes not long after comedian Kathy Griffin was widely condemned for posting a photograph in which she gripped a bloodied rendering of Trump's head. The public, though the public version of William Shakespeare's classic play is unchanged from its 400-year-old original, the production portrays Caesar with a gold bathtub and a pouty Slavic wife. Trump's mention, name is never mentioned, but backlash was swift. Well, we know who they mean, so. On Sunday, Donald Trump Jr. Retreated, retweeted the Fox News story about the play and wrote, I wonder how much of this art is funded by taxpayers. Serious question, when does art become political speech and does that change things? Dalton responded by saying artistic and creative direction cross the line on Sanders good taste. So we're going to skip down. NEA for the arts, which Trump and Republican once proposed eliminating, said that while public Shakespeare's programming was received as grants in the past, none was awarded for Julius Caesar for funds supporting New York State Council on the Arts Grant for the Public. Theater lovers were quick to point out that the national tour of Julius Caesar in 2012 by the acting company featured a Caesar played by a black actor in a modern business suit who had a resemblance to then-President Barack Obama, a Democrat. Sponsors of the Guthrie Theater? I didn't even know that, but that's wrong, too. Sponsors of the Guthrie Theater, including Delta, apparently had no objections when that show landed in Minneapolis. The public has long protected its role as an incubator of provocative and challenging works, unafraid to mount plays that comment on current events or update Shakespearean plays to explore modern themes. This goes on and on. 
Like I said, I emailed these people. I told them to drop to me. They had a search warrant served on them uh, to see if they actually have any plans to do something. But you don't know what the left. They've gone completely out of their minds. Uh, uh, you look at you know, YouTube, Google, a uh, somewhat related subject. I'm going to put this on hold. This shows the hypocrisy. Now, YouTube, Google uh, demonetized two of my videos. Indianapolis billboard causes religious uproar. In coalition of liberals, Muslims, apostate Christians, and more oppose anti-Sharia marches. Now, there's no violence in either one of those videos. I don't think I swore. I was very careful to soft pedal it, but they take them down anyway. When they take them down, they uh, demonetize them. This is the hypocrisy of the left. On one hand, it's okay to assassinate the president in effigy if they don't like him, and on the other hand, it's uh, not okay for somebody to post videos that are completely harmless, where there's no violence, no harassment of anybody, but they take them down anyway. Total, utter hypocrisy. I would think the threats against the president are a little more serious. I would have to see uh, clips from that Julius Caesar 2012 to see if they're having her uh, chains yanked on that. Well, there you go. It's total hypocrisy. Total BS. And quite possibly threatening the president, although I don't know whether they actually... They're probably... It's probably just stupidity on the left, but you can't tell with these people. They've gone completely insane. They have... You know, three quarters of them need to be locked up in mental hospitals. I still remember that one Jim Quinn plays where she's screaming and swearing about Trump's being elected and she's going to kill herself if, you know, they don't do something. It's pretty funny to listen to, but she's obviously a nutcase. Uh, I'm our facts of Mars. They call a little longer than I wanted. Uh, thanks for watching. Left has gone completely unhinged.